Hey YouTube, got another video for you today. It is going to be another couple ranked replays, and actually, Dr. Known is in these two replays as well. If you watched yesterday's video, it was about Dr. Known, the up-and-coming 1v1 player from the Middle East who is 13 years old, but on the other side of the field is somebody who is RLCS age, and somebody that we don't get to see play against other top 1v1ers very often due to the region that they play in, and that is BEMS. We have BEMS on the field here today against Dr. Known. BEMS, the team member of the club. Now, I don't know if you follow the RLCS at all, maybe you're completely into just 1v1, but the club recently dropped KV1, picked up BEMS for the start of this season, and then won every single regional in South America and came as the club to the major, and actually I'm recording this after the club has already been eliminated. So unfortunately for them, despite winning every single regional, they were not able to make it farther than the second seed from their region, Team Secret, who did make it into the top eight. And we'll see how it finishes for them tomorrow, or at least tomorrow when I'm recording this. But the reason why I wanted to look at BEMS is because BEMS is top 10 in 1v1 right now, or at least very close, something that I haven't seen from BEMS in a while, but I have seen him in the top 50, so I knew he was an up and coming ones player, or, you know, one of the potential top ones players in South America, despite not having seen him in show matches. And now that he's gotten top 10, I'm thinking, are we looking at potentially the second best 1v1er in all of Sam? I would say right now, Yan still counts as the second best 1v1er in Sam. If you want to argue that he left to North America because he's playing North American RLCS, then maybe Bems is number one right now in Sam. KV1 is certainly the other argument, and I actually think KV1 is still highly rated than BEMS is at this moment. They are right next to each other on the leaderboard, but BEMS has proven to play well with the club in the RLCS, and I'll be honest, when I heard that the club dropped KV1, obviously 1v1 fans are fans of KV1, and the club had looked really good. I was thinking, why would you want to get rid of KV1? Not only is he a solid player, but he has one of the traits that I actually think is one of the crucial things for picking up players, which is that he is fairly young, which means he's got lots of improvement to be made. I think the young players just under or just over the RLCS age limit usually end up getting better and better. The kind of players you don't want to get rid of, especially if they seem promising. And I thought KV1 was that. And I actually thought Bems was, you know, much older than him, but it turns out Bems is the same deal. Bems is just a few months older, also 15 years old, recently into the RLCS. So I think Bems has a lot of improvement to be made in his game as well. Whether that comes from threes or ones, it's not surprising that he's good at ones. Lots of the youngsters in 1v or in 3v3 are usually good at 1v1. And so let's find out. Hopefully we can get Bems into some tournaments in the future because I've actually tried to get in contact with Bems in the past and I've never been able to get him into a show match. So. It seems like he's interested in ones by going all the way to top 100 as Dr. Known air drill bumps him. But we have two replays of him versus Dr. Known. Dr. Known right now in the 90-ish range of the top 100. I think I've seen him push a little bit higher. But after the season reset, which reset a couple days ago, not sure if Dr. Known's been playing games or not. We saw he can take games against the best. That's a great reset wave dash for Bems to get a fourth. But can he handle you know, the rest of the top 100? Or could he win a series against Rawas or Moxie, the guys he beat? In the previous video, I honestly would not bet in favor of Dr. Known despite winning those. But, like I said, these players are the players to watch out for. With time, they'll eventually find their way through. And that was a great little reset fake. Bems just trying to stay grounded the whole time. In fact, when we watched Dr. Known beat Moxie and Rawas, he did so very um, grounded. You know, very safe. His playstyle wasn't as aerial focused, wasn't as risk focused. You know, a lot of youngsters will just play very mechanically, and that was not what Dr. Gnome was doing. He's actually been doing it more here against Bems than he did against those two, whether that's because he wants to play safer against players like Rawas and Moxie and maybe feels a bit more confident against Bems. I don't know. But another thing we've seen Dr. Gnome trying to do is this fake kickoff, and nobody's ever really done it as solidly as Dark has, but I do like seeing other players trying to mix it into their game a bit more. And right now, Bems is, though, on the attack because of that fake kickoff. And the reason why it's exciting, I think I mentioned this a little bit before, but this is a great volley to himself and then launch just under the crossbar, is Bems is in Netherlands right now. You know, he's in Netherlands, like we talked about for the Worlds, which means they're playing on fairly similar ping. In fact, on this EU server, Bems has 20, Dr. Known has 100. And 
it makes you wonder if Bems would not always be top 10 if he just had a few more pillars to Q against than ones. We've saw Yan coming out of Sam, who has kind of done the same thing. The last few times he's went to North America or EU during majors, he would rise to the top because he finally be able to get Qs quickly in ones and he would just dominate and show that pretty much the only thing that was holding him back was that he didn't want to Q US East because he didn't want to play on 120 ping and he can't get Qs in Sam. And I think even North American players have said when they go to EU, it's easier to get top one because more players at the top 100 are queuing in EU. So Bems showing that he's got the stuff. Right now he's up 8-4 with a minute and 11 left to go. What do you guys think? Do you think Bems could be the best South American player right now? Assuming Yan doesn't count and assuming he could take down KV1. Maybe that's be a matchup that we have to see come out recently because normally I would say that it's not even close but KV1 has been faltering a little bit in some of his ones game a lot of those games come from playing on 120 ping so it's hard to really judge but maybe we'll get some KV1 games too while he's in Rotterdam Bams just needs to hold on to this three goal lead for the next 50 seconds get a pre-jump on this bounce dribble and now left with absolutely no boost Dr. No great placement if this video is a bit more about Bems, but it's nice to see more games from Dr. Known. Seems to have a good one's brain inside that head. Are we going to see a bounce dribble take off from Dr. Known? It's hard to resist from this position, but not a great finish from him. He didn't convert it into a bump, but he didn't get a reset to make an outplay towards the end of the dribble. And it got to be one or the other. If you want your defender to miss, Bems. Probably going to be able to play keep away now as he takes boost. He cuts it back to his corner. Definitely trying to waste down time. Look at the placement from Dr. No. Oh, I say look at the placement, but I guess it was off. So the placement couldn't have been that good. But it was just on the razor's edge of being completely unsavable. Reset from Dr. No. Wasn't able to bump them as he flew through it. So the creativity from Dr. No. Is there. Tried a few different ways to break through Bems, but Bems just played a solid first game. These guys queued two games against each other. These games were played just under a week ago, so I'm not sure when Bems got into uh, Rotterdam, but he's obviously been there at least for a few days. So let's go watch the second one, Dr. Known and Bems. Game number two of these guys queuing up against each other. This time on a stadium with a crowd. Always a bit nicer for the YouTube videos if you ask me. Here's some nice crowd in the background. Pem's going to start with an air dribble bump. Dr. Known immediately put back down. We are watching these in the order that they were played. Still see Dr. Known rocking that evil genius's decal. Kick off this time around. Goes in favor of Dr. Known. Pem's just going to try and think about attacking all the way across the field without any boost. And he's in trouble now. Able to recover just in time. But it's kind of crazy. These guys are basically playing 2D Rocket League right now as they push it straight down center field. How long can they play it for? Well, it's going to go eventually in, I swear. You know the training tunnel that you start in? Back when I started the game, they actually didn't have the training tunnel. But assuming you've started in the last year or so, when you first play, they have like a really small field that's as wide as the net to keep the ball from moving out to the sides. These guys were basically playing with the training tunnel as that ball never left center field. Failed attack from Dr. Known. Bems has shown already that he is too solid. And I really want to say that when we watched Dr. Known versus those other two players, he was not going for shots like that, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I think there's a little bit of how you see in ranked ones, definitely different than show matches, uh, where players are playing to improve versus playing to win. I think you'll find that most ones players that get high are actually playing to improve because they use it as a training ground for whether it's RLCS or just getting better in general. Uh, I have a feeling that when Dr. Known played Ruas and Moxie, he was playing to win. You know, he, he maybe didn't play to improve as much. He wanted to show that he could get it done against them. This is a great shot off the ceiling from Dr. Known. Whereas now he might be playing a bit more to improve because I've seen him go for some shots that he is maybe not hitting always. And you have to do that. You have to do that, especially in ranked if you want to Imp like push even higher in your ability you know reach the absolute peak you're gonna have to make mistakes and 
As I say that, Dr. No and tying it up. Another thing that Dr. No loves to do is rock this super blue car and then be on the orange team. So that if you aren't paying close attention, you might get confused. Bam's winning this kickoff. Challenged well before anything can really get started. Dr. No playing really quickly despite Bem's not putting that much pressure on. Seemed like a pretty clear shadow position from Bem's turning far away from the ball. Which means Dr. No should really try and extend that dribble as close to net. Instead, he played it as if he was going to be dived upon. But instead, it's a third goal. Now, you see that Pogo? <laughs> who else is on Pogo Watch? I feel like everybody who watches the channel who is enjoying Dark is on Pogo Watch. And I noticed that Dr. Known, after getting exploded away from the net there, tried to pogo off the ground. I can't wait until we see the pogo from everybody. I don't think the pogo will be like the, the a reset that was called like the Feet Licks reset. I don't know if you guys remember. There was kind of like a, a way to drive up the side wall where you could keep your flip indefinitely and it was pretty hard to hit. And when it first came out, everyone said, this is crazy you know this is going to define the game everyone's going to have this it's so important and then it turns out that no one really needed to learn it the benefits from it weren't super great and even though the once game is the most open of all the modes you'd think that once is where you could maybe get some use out of it it never really caught on and it seemed to be too tough that being said i bring that up because i don't think the pogo is that you know i think there's an argument to be made that the pogo is that that it's flashy that one player can do it but Overall, we won't see, you know, it catch on and become a tool in everybody's kit. But I, I disagree. I, I think it will get there some, at some point. You know, it does just seem to be too useful. There will come a day when everyone knows the pogo. Certainly not the most important thing to prioritize right now, though. Doesn't mean you can't turn your car on its nose and try and bounce every time you explode from the net, though. Bems, really solid challenger on the air dribble. Did he miss his first touch? Oh, he did. He made it not possible to score. These guys all knotted up at fives. Pinch to the ceiling. Bems really trying to slow down. Maybe he doesn't want kind of high ball speed with how low boost he has. Sometimes that makes sense. Keep the ball slow. Usually means the counterattack is slow. Just a bit of a safer way to play. Nice bump here. Another bump could do it. And he's going to go for the demo. He's got tons of time. Should be able to score this. Barring a sick pre-flip. And it's not there. So Bems, 6-5. These two have been back and forth during the duration of this game. But it's going to be Bems with the lead. As we approach the end of it here. Nice wave dash from Dr. Known. Interesting air roll. In order to hit it, felt like it was a high up place to use it from, but he showed he could get it done. It's going to take a double reset. You know, this is the kind of stuff that Dr. Noen wasn't really trying, and he needed that late. Certainly, in his other games that he was looking to win, I don't think he goes for that with a minute left to go. So it is going to be 7 5. Bems with control of the ball, cut off all of his angle to shoot with by taking it all the way there. So instead, just gonna wait, see what Dr. Known does. Actually has to evade the bump and does so really, really well. Able to pick up midfield. <laughs> Dr. Known just continuing to chase him down. That's funny. All the way into the net. He's frustrated at how barely Bams was able to escape. And oh my goodness, is the game broken? How did he get that demo? I thought at least Dr. Known was going full supersonic as well. Bams was just trying to make sure he didn't connect with it. And I thought he was doing so at the cost of his own life. Thought Dr. Gnome was maybe going to demo him, but apparently he had more speed. He's the one to demo Dr. Gnome. He must not have quite been supersonic. Now, I think Bem's car is just extra strong. Felt like he fell on top of Dr. Gnome, not fully supersonic again, but gets another demo. That demo will probably secure this game, even if Dr. Gnome is able to score here. It should be a Bem's win. So. Just another player I wanted to look at. I'm not sure if everybody has heard of Bems before, but getting a couple wins here against Dr. Known, top 100 player. Not necessarily, you know, the kind of wins that you should write home about, but I think his rank implies that he's been getting those kind of wins that we actually should write home about. So I am writing to you guys about Bems.
Hopefully we can see him a bit more in other tournaments. Maybe some of the Brazilian players or Brazilian viewers have seen him play in other tournaments that, that I don't know about. That's just the nature of, you know, different languages and different communities. Maybe there's been a ton of Portuguese speaking communities with Bems in it and I just haven't seen him, but hopefully we can get him in some English speaking tournaments, AKA some tournaments of mine, because I really want to see Bems against the best in a full try hard show match type environment. And of course, Dr. Known, I think nobody needs any more encouragement to be excited about an up and coming Saudi youngster because those have proven to be some of the best players in the game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed a couple of these ranked games. I uh, appreciate you subscribing like crazy this month uh it's been huge 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 and every subscriber for the next month is adding one dollar to the prize pool that we'll be running on that last weekend of the year so thank you so much i'll have more details on that tournament when i know them bems hopefully we can see more in the future